Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to slay? So first things first, I am priming my skin with the Morphe foundation primer. Y'all know I love this because it literally just smooths away every imperfection. <laughs> Next we have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty because if you have crater sized pores like mine, you're definitely going to need to fill them up and this is really great and it does not break me out and it's affordable. So definitely, if you're interested, check it out. Next, I'm going to be going in with two of my favorites, the Elf Mattifying Primer and the Tatcha, what is that called? Silf, silk Canvas Primer. They're really great for giving me that matte, smooth, poreless, like flawless, quote unquote flawless application so i just put like a dime size amount my fingers are kind of big so yeah and next i'm gonna be using two of my faves the huda beauty full filter foundation in cinnamon yes i was trying to show you it there and i'm also using my matte and poreless fit me foundation from maybelline now i know you're probably thinking oh my god you're mixing high-end and drugstore yeah this combo is lit like no doubt so i'm gonna be spraying on some of my mattifying spray from gerard cosmetics lay all day onto my real techniques miracle complexion sponge and blending out my foundation and i find using a mattifying spray to dampen or to help like blend out my foundation helps me so much like literally i do this technique with concealer and foundation because I'm oily so I'm definitely going to need that extra you know security blanket no oil so next I am going to be using what remains of my MAC Pro Concealer Foundation I believe I'm in the shade NC45 yes and I'm also using this as my eyeshadow primer and this is really good like listen to me I think concealers are some of the best eyeshadow primers like who needs a primer hello just get a concealer and trust me i am always going to be a lover of my la girl pro concealer as you will see but girl i love this concealer so i'm just blending that out and yes i did spray it with my elf no sorry with my gerard cosmetics slay all day mattifying spray and that just really keeps that under eye from creasing and from looking crumbly I just find it just keeps me matte as possible and I love it. Of course, at some point I'm going to get oily, but it's not that bad. Next, I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my concealer. All the areas that I've concealed. I just find this powder works great for my complexion as well as other like brown skin girls as well. Light and dark. I find it that yellow just... It just works. It just gives you that perfect highlight shade. I really can't say I have any other like love right now. Like I'm kind of obsessed with it. But yeah, if you all have any suggestions of great setting powders, hit me up. Next, we're going to be using the James Charles palette. You all know I'm obsessed. I use this in like every or well, almost every tutorial. We're going for a bit of a green um halo eye yes or a spotlight eye look today i was just feeling like i needed some encouragement with some bright colors and of course you know i love bright colors so what better way to encourage myself it's so easy to get lost in this world and to doubt yourself and even to allow fear to creep in and I just woke up, you know, feeling refreshed and renewed. And I'm just like, listen, I'm going to do this thing because y'all, YouTube is hard. Okay, it's a lot of hard work, but say what? I love it. So I'm going to keep pumping out these videos. But yeah, basically, I'm going in with that bush green. <laughs> is there another way to call it? It's like a light green. Do you see how pigmented these colors are coming out with the MAC concealer? Come on. And it does the same thing with a drugstore concealers, for example, the Maybelline and the Elego Pro Concealer. But anyway, um, I'm going to be using my dark green. So I am just getting up in my crease with that. And I'm making sure to stipple that dark green 
on the front and back end. That's not what I want to say. <laughs> I want to say the inner and outer third, yes, of my eyes. Because, of course, when you're doing a halo eye or a spotlight eye, we want to make sure the middle, like what you're going to see me doing right now, is going to be the eye catcher. This is going to be the girl that steals the show. So I'm just using a little bit of my concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm putting it in the middle, and that's where my color is going to go for my spotlight eye. And you can just use any flat, small, defined brush to do this. I'm using, actually, my dual-ended brush for my eyebrows, and it works great. So I'm just going back and forth with that dark green, just trying to make sure that it's properly stippled where I want it. And you're going to be seeing the difference in color. So yeah. Now we're going into my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions. Yes, I've been dying to use this palette. And I'm going in with that, I want to say it's like a neon greenish yellow color. And this color was a little tricky to work with because it's a matte. And it was just kind of powdery. But I realized the trick is that with these shadows... If it is, it's powdery, you just pat it on and just keep packing it on. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically what I kept doing back and forth to make sure that it's like as pigmented and as bold and loud and defined as I wanted it to be. So I am just packing it on, packing it on, packing it on. And if you need to, you can go back in with your greens your darker greens like what I'm about to do I'm just making sure that I have not lost any of that darker green on my inner and outer thirds of my eye Hello. yeah sorry about that that was my sister <laughs> and yes yeah, so now we're getting back into the darker green and the James Charles palette yo I'm sorry I don't know the names of these shades um they came with like a plastic sheet thing on them and since then I have lost that but um yeah you can always google it and check it out but this is the dark green shade that i'm doing on my waterline next i'm going to get into my eyeliners i'm using my pencil eyeliner from jordana 12 hour eyebrow no not eyebrow um eyeliner jeez brain freeze and now i'm getting into my caramia cosmetics liquid liner and this is really great i just love black liner oh my god i love it just gives you that sharp gorgeous wing so yeah i wanted to kind of wing it out a little bit because i mean it's bold it's bright it's green it's in your face so yeah that's what i did next i'm getting into my maybelline Oh my god, why can't I remember the name of this? Big Shot. Yes. Big Shot Mascara. The absolute best. Gives you that look of falsies without actually wearing falsies. Because I did not wear any this time. So I'm just dusting that powder away. Sweeping it away. And making sure that we're all in a gear. See? Totally highlighted. Just the way we like. And I'm going in with that Black Radiance Contour Palette in the deep dark. You'll know I'm always raving about this palette. Because I feel like if I've been missing out, who, why didn't y'all tell me that this was like the shit? Like honestly. So I am just contouring all the places that need to be contoured. Like my nose and my cheeks. And now I'm getting into my MAC NC, no, NW43 Studio Fix foundation powder powder foundation yeah and then into that highlight from that same black radiance palette i didn't want to go too heavy on the highlight because you know we all about that summer glow but we're going to be glowing within you know but we can glow on the outer as well so that's why i put some but i didn't go too too heavy i just you know give myself a little bit of that natural glow you know so yeah, and now I'm going to be doing a combo with ColourPop using a gloss and a bullet lipstick. So I'm using this lipstick here. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in the description box below. So I use that to outline my lips. And in the middle, I remember the gloss though. It's called Overnight. It's a little bit of a lighter gloss, more of a peachy gloss. So definitely for us brown skin girls, we need something to kind of 
tone it down a bit so yeah I just wanted that kind of vibe and it matches my outfit as you will see shortly and into my Huda Beauty palette I'm just taking a little bit of that gold to give me that inner corner highlight because you know we love that inner corner highlight so I'm just giving that a go into my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this. Bye.